Um, Kyneton Detect Pro, and today we are going to simply move over to part 15 of our Hibernate for Java programmers. Hibernate full course for Java programmers, everything about Hibernate, make no mistake about it. We are going to be getting lists of users by location from the user controller by extending JPA repository. Now, how did we do it before? We already got lists of users by location uh, from the location controller by accessing the child member variable of a location. In location controller, we did it by getting one single location and then assessing the users of that location, right? In this case, we are going to do the same thing in a little in a in a different way. Here we will receive the location ID as a path variable and use it to filter list of users. Uh, in this case, we are going to the user controller and then we are getting all the users and then we are going to filter it by location. So that is gonna be easy. To do that, we are going to extend the JPA repository. In this case, we are going to extend the user JPA repository and allow, user J uh, allow the JPA repository to give us list of users by location. So we are going to try to do something like find by location ID. And I'd like to also mention that JPA repository uh, is a super class of or super interface of the CRUD repository. Remember, we extended the CRUD repository. We could have extended JPA repository. So if I'm saying JPA repository and CRUD repository uh, for all practical purposes in this application, they are the same. So we are extending the CRUD repository and we are going to extend user repository so that user repository can filter for us, giving us only the users. Instead of giving us list of all the users, it's going to give us only the users for that location. So I'm going to go to user repository, user repository. So now uh, let's just check if we can go to source and see if we can have check what we can override at this point. So if I go to override or implement method, we can see a whole lot of things uh, we can override or implement. And that is okay. So anyway, we can, let's, let's not worry about this. We are simply going to allow the user repository to filter by location. And to do that, you simply say, give me a list of user, give me a list of user, find by location ID. Uh, integer ID. So once you do this, CRUD repository will automatically provide you with the implementation of find by location ID. Now we are saying find by and we specify location ID. So this location ID corresponds to the location ID uh, that is automatically created by uh, Hibernate. So if you go to user entity, we have location. So from this location, is going to find uh, user by location ID. Actually, it should have been by location, but it's easier to find by location ID. So once you write this, uh, write it in this way, in this syntax, then Hiber uh, JPA will co communicate with Hibernate and provide exactly what you want. All right, so write the following method in the service. So in this case, we are just going to write the method in the service, get user by location. So I'm going to go to user service. Actually, we are going to write this ourselves. Let's start with the user controller. So write it yourself. That is how I challenge my subscribers. So I'm going to say a get mapping, uh, get mapping, and we are in the user controller. We are going to say user, uh, users slash users, because we want to receive the location ID at this point. So, so users, uh, so user slash location, user slash location, location ID, and give us the users in that location. So there is a mapping 
the, 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 the URL pattern that is going to return the, look, the users in particular location from the location controller. So I'm going to say public list of user. And I'm going to say get users by location. Get users by location. I'm going to say the path variable is going to be the ID of the location. So we can leave it as ID. So whatever ID comes here, we assume is the ID of the location which comes at this point. The ID of the location goes here. So I'm going to return <coughs> um, user service dot get users by location. And I'm going to pass it the ID that comes from the path variable. Again, let me just correct this. Okay, at path variable is gonna be an integer. At path variable is an integer ID. Get users by location, no mistakes, everything is fine. So we are going to write this method in the user service. So is undefined in the user service. Yeah, I know it's undefined, so I want to create it. So yeah, create method get users by location in the user service. So I'm going to return at this point, we have this method in user repository because we extended the user repository to give us location, to give us list of users by location. So I'm going to say user repository dot, at this point we can have find by location ID and you can see it right there and everything is fine. So if you have some errors, try to go back, uh, copy this code and paste it. So we are going to relaunch this application. After we've saved, I'm going to relaunch this application and we are going to try to get list of list of users by location from the user controller, right? Um, so, hopefully, Tomcat is going to be friendly to us and is going to just start and so that we test this applic uh, application and then we can move on to something else. So Tomcat static, uh, great. So let's go to testing. So now I have, I need list of users by location. Um, if I want to get it from location controller, I'll just say locations, location slash ID, locations one slash users. I have location one, location one slash users, I have list of users in this location. So now we want to get this from users, from users slash location one, slash location one, slash location one, and we want users, right? So this is what we have. Uh, we got this, it's exactly the same as list of, list of locations, uh, location one, slash one, slash users is the same. Well, this one is coming from location controller and the other one is coming from user controller. The one coming from user controller, we extended the CRUD repository to get it. So these are two different things. Try to also take some time to read through it, practice it several times, and it becomes clay, very clear to you. The, the key thing is you can extend JPA repository to give you additional additional methods or additional functionalities. We are going to now be moving over to part 16, uh, get list of posts by user from uh, the post controller by extending JPA repository. So we see in part 16, again, remember to subscribe, like my video and leave me a comment and I'll be there for you.